Hey guys, welcome back to another Curls by Danny. I am Danny, aka Danielle. Um, thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you're new, please press that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link somewhere in this rectangle. And stay tuned to this video. We're going to do a comparison video. Basically, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dye my hair. Yes, I'm going to dye it red, but I'm not going to bleach it. It's just going to be a rinse. Um, so I went to the store and got this rinse by a door. It's called Intense Red. Um, I used to use a crimson red, which was a really good rinse. It just laid over my hair nicely. It stayed there for quite a while, a few weeks. Um, so I've never tried this red. It's a little bit more on the subtle side. It's still a red, but it's more on the subtle side than their crimson red because, you know, <laughs> I still got to go to work. So we're going to try this intense red. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I've gotten this question a lot, and I didn't really know how to answer it because I never really remembered for when I used to... Um, when I used to dye my hair a lot and I used to put these rinses in. So someone has asked me, do you deep condition before or after you put your, your rinse in? And I was like, hmm, you know, I can't remember, but honestly to tell you, I probably didn't deep condition at all because I just started that and that's why my hair is now awesome because deep conditioning every week is recommended for the natural curly hairs out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my hair in half in one section on either the right or left. I haven't decided yet. It's going to get the color first and then one section is going to get the deep conditioner first. I'm going to leave it in for 20 minutes, sit under the dryer under medium heat. Then after that I'm going to flip flop it. So I'm going to rinse the color out of one side and put deep conditioner in and then I'm going to rinse the deep conditioner out of one side and put the color in another 20 minutes medium heat and then I'm going to take it out, rinse it all out and then follow up with conditioner and see how how it affects my hair. Is it going to feel soft? Is the color going to be as vibrant on one side? Does one of them rinse more, rinse out more than the other side? I don't know so those questions will be answered shortly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use my shampoo by Creamination Pure Honey. I love this shampoo. It makes my curls feel awesome. It kind of just melts away all the tangles and knots that I have in there although I will be finger detangling in the shower and then so after this one side is going to go ahead and get this hair mask still by the same line um, the pure honey line from cream of nature one side is going to get that and then one side is going to get the color here then I'm going to sit on the dryer for 20 minutes and then flip flop it so I'll be right back after I shampoo okay guys I am back from the shower. So what I did was I shampooed everything because I needed to get all of the old wash and go product out of my hair. So on the left side here, I had did the conditioner already. I used the hair mask. What I do now is put the color on the right side. guys so it looks like this is evenly distributed through my hair I highly recommend doing this part in a well-lit bathroom or room or something so that you can see where the dye is and where it isn't so that you can apply more trust me all of this washes out especially when it gets on my skin it washes off trust me I've done this many times and have made many messes and it definitely comes out all right, so over here on the right, we have the color first. And then over here on the left, we have the mask first, okay? So now I'm gonna sit on the dryer for 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna go rinse it out and I'll be back to, read, to do the other side. Color over here, mask over there. Okay, 20 minutes under the dryer with this. Deep conditioner already dyed. Already deep conditioned, now it's dying. 20 minutes under the dryer in the medium heat and I'll be right back after I rinse it all out. 
All right, my love. So I just got out the shower for the third time, actually. <laughs> And so the first thing I noticed when I was in the shower taking out, washing everything out, is that the side that had been dyed first and then deep conditioned last is the softest, definitely. The softest, the most tangle free, um, probably because the deep conditioner is fresh in there. So that's probably why. Um, when I had the dye in there after the deep conditioner, this side over here, it was dry, but how I fixed that now, it feels about the same. How I fixed that is I just went in with my Pure Honey Conditioner, and I left that in there for about, about three minutes while I was just finishing up the rest of my shower. So color-wise, let's see, I think it looks about even to me. So the tips are brighter because that's where my hair used to be dyed. I just haven't clipped those in yet. Um, just to make my hair uniform, 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 uniform. So it's definitely brighter on the tips, but it does have like a dark, deep red to it throughout all of my hair. But what I would do for my hair care regimen is I would deep condition after the color has already been in there, just so that it ends nice and smooth and silky. But all in all. Everything turned out good, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and I'm gonna style it in the morning before I go to work. So, thank you guys for watching another Curls by Danny. I hope you learned something. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. I do answer all your questions, at least try to, and I do make videos for you. So, thank you for the person that went ahead and ask this question because this video is for you you know who you are and I hope to see you guys again in my next video bye